Hi again from Shannon Kring and Goddess Kring. On the other hand, maybe it doesn't matter if our music gets heard. Maybe what really matters is that Dave Flowers and I create music, orange and green, <laughs> that we create the music that we love and we put our heart and soul into it and we, we do our best and then we publish it and then we don't worry about who listens to it. If, if only we listen to it or five or 10 or 20 people listen to it, does it really matter? What really matters is that we're doing what we love. Like if a tree falls in the forest and nobody's around, I believe somebody, it still makes a sound. So the tree itself witnesses itself. So perhaps as an artist, it is good to completely detach yourself from the external result that you achieve. You know, like it's not honest. Like if you're afraid of rejection and you don't share your music or art because you don't want people to reject you, that's one thing. Or if you're actually uncomfortable with the idea that you might be successful also because sometimes people feel guilty when they're successful. So if you're coming from a place of fear, you could hide your music or art whether you're afraid of success or failure, they say that there is no fear of success. Really what it's a, what, what fear of success is, is fear that people are going to be jealous or think you don't really deserve your success. And so you're afraid of being judged. Whether someone thinks you're good or bad, it's a judgment. It's not comfortable to be in the public eye and be judged. And at the same time, I've always wanted to liberate myself like on my spiritual path I consider everything in life to be part of a spiritual path, uh, as corny as that sounds. It's all about healing and growing and learning. And I want to heal and grow and learn. And I've always wanted that since I was like in kindergarten. So I want to make art and music and put it out into the world and see how it affects other people and see how it affects me and how I can learn to co-create with the rest of the universe. So... I would love for our music to be heard, but at the same time, I would like to liberate myself from worrying about how popular I am or how unpopular I am. I mean, like my YouTube channel is very unpopular. I've had a channel since 2005 and I have less than 2000, I forgot how many subscribers I have. I'm really not very popular, but that who cares? Like, does it matter? Like, I do the videos that I want to do, and I share them with people. So it would be nice, because obviously I want to do it. Like, if I, if I totally didn't care about having the public acknowledge me, I wouldn't put videos on YouTube. It's kind of a paradox. It's kind of like I share... I share, and but then I want to liberate myself from needing other people's approval. And then I would like to learn something from the feedback I get. Although people used to criticize and make fun of me and say horrible things about me, and that really wasn't helpful to me at all. But if there's something I can learn from criticism, I'm open to that. But mostly, and then if people constantly tell me how great I am, I don't know if that's very helpful either. I like it when people truly appreciate what I do or give me constructive criticism. So what's the point of any of this? What's the point of making a video and sharing it or making a song and sharing it or making visual art and sharing it? I just got back from 17 days driving from Seattle to Houston for an art car parade and festival. And, and, and honestly, I was extremely overwhelmed and I'm really happy I did it. But part of me thinks I did it just to prove that I could handle doing it. Like, I love sharing my art car with all the other art car people. We met some really nice people, but I kind of felt overwhelmed and a little irritated by how loud and social everybody was. And at the same time, everybody was so nice. And I was happy that everyone was having fun and smiling and laughing and talking. But I kind of wanted to just go run off by myself and be in the forest. And I probably should have taken more quiet time for myself. I don't want to be antisocial. But I also don't want to make myself do extremely loud social things that overwhelm me. You know, I want the extroverts to enjoy their social activity. 
I'm a little bit introvert, a little bit extrovert. I'm a little bit country. I'm a little bit rock and roll. <laughs> Some say I'm on the autism spectrum. I have been officially assessed by mainstream psychology. Uh, supposedly I'm on the autism spectrum, which kind of overlaps with being highly sensitive. Uh, I have synesthesia. I see shapes when I hear music. I mean, in my own head, I don't hallucinate, but I see shapes when I hear music. I'm just very sensitive to taste, touch, smell, sound, visual, every kind of sense. Uh, I get easily irritated. I like a lot of time to myself. I live by myself. Never had kids. Never got married. I'm an only child, etc., etc., etc. Okay, time to go do my art. Bye for now. I'm going to go walk some dogs and do my art. Bye for now. This is Shannon Kringen signing off.